Hey guys, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria. And I wanted to make this video because I received um, a comment on my why I get, initially gained 60 pounds on a high carb, low fat plant based vegan diet video. And I wanted to address this commenter. This um, woman said that she had credentials, she was a nurse and had some kind of dietetic certification, but basically she was saying that. I was wrong, metabolic damage doesn't exist, and I'm on my exercise bike, that's why I'm moving around a little bit. But anyways, so the first uh, topic, does metabolic damage actually exist? So she was claiming that, you know, a lot of these plant-based doctors don't acknowledge metabolic damage. and. I think what we need to do is break it down and look at what we are referring to. So where you're going to see metabolic damage, adaptive thermogenesis, biochemical changes related to starvation, mainly is going to be in anorexic patients. Uh, so in the case of like the chronic calorie restrictor or even the anorexic, in order for those people to continue being alive, the metabolism has to change. So let's say you have the standard metabolism. Somebody consumes 2,500 calories a day, they're active. If they cut their calories down to 1,000, 1,500, yeah, they're going to lose weight. But there's a threshold for that. After a while, actually, probably, I think it's after a week, um, the metabolism slows down things change, hormones change, in order for the body to respond to the lack of food coming in. If you check out Neil Bernard's book, uh, Turn Off the Fat Genes, he actually talks about this in his book, uh, particularly the insulin and leptin and ghrelin changes that occur when somebody's not consuming enough food and the weight gain associated because all those, the changes in those hormones trigger the body to store weight when more food starts coming in. That's called our basic survival mechanism. And for anybody to deny that that exists, I would question them as a doctor or a healthcare physician because what this person is basically saying, or anybody who says that metabolic damage doesn't exist, is saying that when you under eat, you're just gonna keep losing weight and then die rather quickly, like if you didn't have water. But that's not true. You can live for about two to three months, I believe, without any kind of food intake. And that's because of the metabolic changes that occur in your body to allow you to continue living. Um, and therefore, also, those changes that occur when food comes in again, when fluid comes in again, the body's prone to store. And it stores over the threshold about 10% of what is considered to be a healthy body weight for a person who is consuming a healthy diet. Now, what's so cool about the high carb, low fat, plant based vegan diet is that there's a threshold for the gain. You will reach a ceiling. For myself, that's what I observed. I gained 60 pounds. I needed to. I'm 5'11". I weighed 120 pounds. I gained to about 180, 185 pounds, maybe 190. I'm not sure. <laughs> I didn't. I got on the scale of like 175, and I got off, and I was like, I don't want to see it again. Um, but I can tell based on my clothing sizes, I was up to about a size 12 in my clothing when I gained those 60 pounds, and then I kept eating the same way and my body adapted to it and I exercised, I rode my little stationary bike, got out, jogged, walked, whatever. A mistake that I made was I stressed myself out doing too much exercise and not allowing myself to rest and recover because starving yourself is extremely stressful on your body and that's another reason why you gain weight. You have elevated cortisol levels all the time. A lot of people who chronically calorie restrict end up with adrenal problems, adrenal fatigue associated to not taking in enough food. So anybody that denies that metabolic damage uh, exists 
doesn't understand the built-in survival mechanism of the human body. So, and again, that means when you starve, your body goes through biochemical changes to allow you to live through starvation and not die after five days of not having any food. <clears throat> Same thing goes for when that food becomes available, again, to a person who has starved. The amount of weight that you're going to gain is going to be dependent on your genetics, your age, what kind of diet you're eating, what kind of diet you ate in the past. Uh, there are several factors that dictate. So some people, whether you took birth control pills, some people don't go through a huge weight gain, and some people do. I did. Um, this really cool chick on YouTube, Fruit Angel, she went through a big weight gain, and now she's lost the weight. And now I've lost the weight. And uh, so that's that. If you're going to starve yourself, there's going to be a rebound effect. And if, but if you're eating a high-carb, low-fat, plant-based vegan diet, it's going to be minimal. And then your body's going to adapt. And every year, you're doing your exercise and you're eating a healthy, calorie-sufficient, high-carb, low-fat, plant-based vegan diet, you're going to eventually get leaner and leaner and leaner every year. And that's the way it works. You just have to be patient. Okay.